Okay, this is part four of my tutorial series for cycles, materials, and nodes. We're just kind of getting started, but let's take a look in this. Now I have a different object. I have this cube in the scene, and it has a wave texture still to it, just like before, passed up through the diffuse shader and to the output like this. But notice when we did it, there were no colors associated with it. So if I disconnect this control key like that, there's the red color that I had, or another color, whatever color I had set in there. And but when I try and connect it, you can see it just kind of disappears, right? The color disappears. So we need something to fix that up. So what we can do is we need a way to mix a color into there. Well, we don't want to use the mix shader. We want to go up to color and get a mix from there. That's one of the ways. And we'll connect that to here. And we'll connect this up to, it doesn't matter, that color there. And then we'll turn this into a reddish purple color. And then now we have a colored based procedural texture that we can work with and this will affect how much of it's on there whether it's all solid there's all solid and there's all black and white texture or any percentage between so it makes it really simple to use nodes and hopefully you start to see the power of using nodes because they're fun and easy once you get the hang of it alright so now also in this lesson we're going to take a look at image mapping so we're going to I'll go into material mode again and I'll add a plane to the scene I'll just rotate it on X a little bit like that and I want to for this I need a texture so I'll just give it a something simple for start I'll give it a yellow texture not that we're going to use it but we'll just put it in there just so you can see the nodes in here and then I want to add an image and so you go to texture and you go to image texture up here and so there's the PNG I have loaded so then hopefully right when I connect it hopefully it's going to do something but it does nothing. It takes away the color, so we know the image looks like it's going to go through there and through there, but I don't actually see an image. Well, that's because if you know from my other tutorials under, in my playlists, you can see the set of tutorials called Blender 2.6 for New Users. There's a couple of videos in there that deal with mapping images onto objects and how do you unwrap it and stuff. So this is such a simple object to unwrap. I'll show you just press the T key. You go into edit mode and then down here you have to mark the seam where is that yeah, you have to mark the seam and then you have to unwrap it alright so I'm unwrapping it and there is the image right on top of the texture like that alright so if you don't unwrap if you don't mark seams and unwrap it like you can see in those other videos your image simply won't show up alright in here so now let's see now sometimes this actually goes askew on me where is that I know this guy's in here he's in there Where's my rendered mode? Where is my rendered view? Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.